Thanks for joining us, man. I know this was short notice, but I, I appreciate you jumping on. Um, I just wanted to, uh, first of all, uh, congratulate you on the, uh, the latest deal that you closed. And I, I'm excited actually to hear more about it. You you laid it out in the post, but uh, I want to kind of listen, hear you talk about it from the hook to the close. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, so um, th this niche that I'm, that I'm in is um, I'm just going to go all in vertical on this one niche um, instead of trying to spread out. Like I've, I've got a tree service guy I work with. I got a painter that I work, work with. I have a framer that I work with. And then um, um, I had a concrete guy, but he moved. <laughs> so I was a concrete guy, but um, so <sighs> So this last one kind of replaces the concrete guy. And um, and I, I haven't stuck strictly to the books of the training with my painter guy. One, because well, I used to build houses. And so my painter is my painter, you know, it's my painter. So um, so I told him, well, listen, I'm you know, I'm, I'm getting off my tools, parking my truck. I'm going to um, but I'm going to still try to get you some work. And so because he is here local and I already know him, um, any job I send his way, he just adds 50 cents a square foot to his price. So um, and, and, you know, every every after he completes each job, he just swings by. and he, He's another one that, that stops in my driveway and gives me a check. So, um, you know, in the first couple of uh, well, probably maybe the first three or four jobs, I would go to the property with him and walk it, talk to the homeowner. And then I finally told him, I was like, look, I mean, I'm, I'm staying home. I got to be on my computer. I, I, I can't get you jobs if I'm out here walking this job with you when this is your job. So we finally got that cleared up, but that's not, kind, that's not really by the books, you know, in the course. And, and so, um, but it was an easy, um, easy path for me to take coming right out the gate, you know? Mm -hmm. um, but so, so this latest one, um, everything was just like in the training, <clears throat> except for I let myself get a little bit too busy, um, too occupied with other things. And, um, and they, they are too, they were actually really busy as well. And so the leads that I was generating was they were all good leads and they were stacking on top of what they're already doing. So they were coming in late, you know, working on Saturdays. They normally work a half a day on Saturdays. They were they were taking calls later on Saturdays. He even took a Sunday call as emergency, uh, which was one of my leads. So um, so. You know, I, it's a give and take. So th they went a little bit longer contacting me and I went a little bit too long getting a hold of them as well. So I had racked up about a five hundred dollar um, Google ad bill before we actually did the deal. And um, and I was very transparent with everything when we did our Zoom. I let them see all the numbers um, and showed them why agencies charge so much. But um, but I let him know I'm just a one man gang. I'm not you know, I don't have tons of people in the office working. I don't have uh, a lot of um, a lot of help. So actually, I don't have any help except, except for every now and then my wife. But um, <clears throat> so uh, so I was very transparent. They saw they didn't realize um, how difficult it was to run Google ads and how much it actually would cost. And and I kind of play by the rules on the price per click and cost per click. I, I know we try to stay under $5, but it's getting harder and harder. And so I'm allowing, I'm allowing six to eight, six to $9 um, a click. I, I'm going ahead and just writing that in the, in the rule, in my rule book saying, Hey, that's, that's kind of what you're looking for. Anything less than that bingo, but um, it's just getting harder and harder. Okay. And so, uh, yeah. So, um, yeah, I racked up about a five hundred dollar uh, ad bill, and but I let them know, and um, I um, also let them know that I've listened to some of the calls 
that I use the, you know, a third party calling system. So that allows me to listen to the calls. And um, I noticed that on his bigger ticket items or a bigger ticket calls, there's a process that has to go through. Like you, you just don't say, Hey, I need this service. And then you show up at the door and do the service. Um, Got to get a soil sample um, done by the County um, that takes 10 days to two weeks. And then, um, you know, on top of that, if you're getting that done, you probably also need temporary power hooked up. Um, you're going to need some water from somewhere, either digging a well or running it from the main source. And I let them know that, hey, you're um, you're kind of letting kind of letting these high dollar uh, customers slip through your fingers because 10 days to two weeks is not 10 days to two weeks. If you're allowing the homeowner to take charge because, you know, they got kids to feed, they got to feed the dog and take out the trash also. And um, plus hooking up with uh, the power company and an electrician for temporary power and then getting a well guy and or, or having a plumber run from a main source. And I said, that's that's not 10 days to two weeks. That's a month. You know, I, I mean, this is coming from a builder. I, I did this. I know this. And so. Um, so I said, you've got to you've got to handhold these customers. You're talking about an eight thousand to a ten thousand dollar install. You're you got to you got to hold these customers hands from, from meeting with the county and getting the test results back then finding out which, what size box you need and all this, all this. I said, hold their hand all the way till they give you a paycheck. Don't let them don't say, hey, uh, so when you get that done, give me a call back and I'll ride out there. That's you. They could be at they could be at Waffle House tomorrow morning talking. Yeah, I got to get this done. Oh, well, I got my my brother. He he knows a guy down the street that does that. Give him a call. You mm -hmm. lost him. You know, so so what I did was I, I created this this guide to show them how to. It, it, Chet Holmes, he he wrote the the ultimate sales machine, which I that's a book I live by, have lived by for 12 years now. He talks about romancing your customer and and not only to make turn them into a paying customer, but to also uh, use education based marketing, which means you are the one that that educates the customer. You give them all the goods, tell them how they can do it themselves. And if not, they can call you, give them all the information on everything they need to know. So that way, when it does come time to make a decision on choosing a contractor, they're choosing you. Because you taught them everything, right? So, um, so I just created this little this little guide that shows them, teaches them how to walk that customer all the way down the process until you are on site doing the work and they're writing you a check. And um, and he's actually closed two jobs because that one was a one was a five thousand, almost a five thousand dollar job, and the other was an eight thousand eighty five hundred dollar job. This is and, the this is the tree guy. Um, no. No, th this is the 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 guy I just closed recently, my my okay. latest one. Nice. Yeah, right. And so, um, that's a good ticket. It's a good good yeah. good price. Yeah, yeah, those are good. Now, his typical service call, they're they're between three hundred and fifty to about four hundred and fifty dollars, depending on what he's got to do on site and how far it is away from where he lives. Because since I since I hooked up with him. I've got him going into um, a county that he normally doesn't go into, but um, we I was generating a lot of phone calls. And so he's like, hey, money's money. We'll drive. So, um, yeah, so uh, so that's it. So the the so I, and when and now what they've done, what his wife has done is he's taken my little guide and turned it into a guide that they get that they email their customer. So I told him, I said, listen. Number one, answer the answer the phone, and then when you get a get a form filled, answer it immediately. They are they need they need something right now, whether it's service or information. They need something right now. Answer the phone and respond to those those form fills immediately. And then if it's one of these calls where they need to go get a soil sample and they need to call the county and then fill out an application and all this stuff, then tell them as soon as I get off the phone with you. Send me, text me your name and where you live. You live in Biloxi, you live in Gulfport, you live, you know, out in the county, whatever. Tell me, and that way I can kind of get a better idea of where you are. 
So now you've got their name, their, their number, and where they live, right? Now you pass it off to your wife. She can, she can go down, she can go down the, the rabbit hole with them. Hey, you know, listen, you live in this area, so you've got to call this county department and get your soil sample. It's going to cost you a $50 application fee. And she walks them through the process. And so what she's done now is she is, she'll call them, she touches them, and then she emails them this guide that shows them all the, the, the steps through the process. And then mm -hmm. every five days, she calls them back. Hey, did you get your perk test? No, I've been busy. Well, all right, go ahead and make a call today. It's only a five minute call, you know, so she kind of bumps them a little bit. So mm -hmm. that helped them a lot. And see what that does is one, it allows their close rate to increase. Mm -hmm. So he's tell he's telling me his close rate is anywhere between 50 and 60. I, I said, if I send you 10 leads that need service, how many can you close? He said, I can probably close about 60%, a strong 60. So I said, okay, well, that's leaving 40% on the table. If I sent you 10 hot leads and you can close 60 of them, You've, so I show him his lead value, right, over the numbers that that he gives and I give. And I said, this lead value times 40% that you're leaving on the table, that's money, right? So they're going to someone else to pay that to pay that contractor. If, if they're calling you, you might as well take it. Now, I'm not saying lower your price. And his service calls are not about price. If there is a difference between him and another contractor in this uh, for a serv basic service call, you're only talking $25, $50, and people aren't going to gawk at that. They gawk at $10,000 difference in the price of a roof, you know, or a, or even a $500,000 difference in a new driveway. That's people shopping around. The higher the price, the more they're going to shop around and call. But mm. lower stuff like, like what he does, you need it. You need it now. They're not going to gawk at 25 bucks, 50 bucks. So I, so it, I, I'm, you know, I let them know, I'm not telling you lower your price. I'm just saying, uh, learn how to romance these customers so that you can make that close rate from 50, 60 to 70, 80, and even higher. And mm -hmm. what that does is it increases his, his, his volume. Yeah. Right. Well, absolutely. Romancing the, the customer is, a, is important. And you mentioned uh, something also really important, which is shortening the sales window. This guy breathes so much time into his process that he, he dilutes these deals instead of compressing them and being on the phone with those customers and staying on top of them to, to, to get the thing done, to, to get the deal done. You, you, you're raising your, your rate. Yeah. 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 Um, and then uh, so and, and then another thing that I did for him was um, and, and it wasn't really um, it wasn't it wasn't an act of just of making sure I hook him as a as a business partner. It was just I could already tell the relationship was there mm. going spending that 500 bucks without giving him just, four, you know, five, five, seven leads and then doing the deal. Um it was kind of a, this was a happy accident over the 500 bucks. I did touch base with them, you know, Hey, I noticed you got that call as a seven minute call when I hadn't listened to it. Were you able to close it? You know, so it gave me reason to touch with them. And, um, um, but I knew the relationship was already there and he, his wife had uh, sent me emails. Hey, thank you so much for that lead you sent us on Wednesday. That turned out to be a good one. You know, so I, I already knew that it was going to be a good relationship. Well, I like that, man. I like that you're building a rapport. Um, it is yeah. important. It's definitely important to build a rapport because uh, you're also tapping the pulse. When you have these touch points with these people all the time, you can kind of gauge where they're at. If they're flaking, if they're getting more serious or less serious, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, it's definitely important. Um, how many uh, deals do we have so far? How many business owners do you work with? Okay, so I've got um, I got this guy, I got my painter, my tree guy, and my framer. Um, yeah, so four, I got four, four deals, yeah. and and you closed these four deals in 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 how much time within a year? Yeah, actually, I had a slow start after I joined last year. Um, it was during that transition of don't do smart campaigns. 
but there wasn't any training in place for the expert Perfect. mode. Mm -hmm. And um, Jeff was just kind of, I mean, just starting to do his, his training on how to set up Google ads the, the way we do it now. Mm -hmm. And, um, and so uh, when I got in, you know, the first thing I did was, was dive into the training and I stayed up the entire night going through it and um, saw the smart campaign part and thought, oh, this is easy. And um, I was I was broke, man. I was making more money when I was a senior in high school than I was last year. And wow. uh, so I had 600 bucks for ads. I thought, OK, I, I can get a I can get a homeowner. I mean, a, a business owner. Uh, on the book this and uh, I did three ads all at the same time. And smart ad, the smart campaigns were just and eating your money away and I just ran my it ran my bank dry and um and then I realized oh we're not supposed to be doing smart ads anymore we're supposed to be oh, yeah yeah so so it took me a while to get some ad spend back up you know, I had right. to go I had to go do a couple of jobs and you know whatever but um but then when I finally got some ad spend back up I was able to start making some but yeah, so like I said, I knew the painter already. So yeah. the painter was in the bag. Um, the framer, I was walking my dog one morning and saw some framers redoing a carport down the street. So uh -huh. I just stopped in and was like, hey, um, uh, you guys need more work? And they were like, yeah. I was like, all right, well, here's my name and number. Let's, uh, I'll give you a call uh, this weekend and let's talk about it. So I didn't even give them any free leads. I just started running running ads <laughs> for for him. And um so he does me um he does me 750 bucks a month. We started where he would just give me 20%, kind of like co what a contractor would normally charge a customer a, a homeowner for acting as a contractor, but um but I told him I was like, "No, there's no there's no reason for um having to talk to each other every time I send you a lead and uh, it was just so and I don't send him much like framing is hard painting is hard framing is hard but um but I will uh get get a good lead uh, for him here and there and then um my tree guy so my tree guy was different too um I met him when I needed some trees cut asked him if he could use more business and he was like yeah i definitely could use more he wants to be he wants to be that tree guy that he's the tree guy you know in this area so um but he's got some goals he, he bought this business from from a friend of his and then he wants to pay off every everything and then buy some equipment and start taking all these oak trees cypress trees that he cuts down take them home and he wants to slab them and sell the slab so he's he's hungry like he wants to pay all his stuff off and start that. So what we did was um, we started a little flat fee and then um, he was paying the, uh, the local TV station. They have a, a internet marketing department, digital marketing department. He was paying them like $2,000 a month to do SEO on his site. And they promised him rankings in six months, eight months later, he's calling me saying, Hey, can you look at my site and tell me if they've even done anything? So I did. I'm like, yeah, they're, they're not doing anything. So um, so he canceled them. So what he does now is any leads I generate for him, and that's from a site that kind of ranks. That's my own site that I built when I first joined the uh, course. I went off. I just started, just built a tree service site just to, just to get it going. So it ranks it ranks a little bit. Um, so any, any leads I give him, he'll give me 10% of the job, and then he pays me uh, – uh, 500 bucks a month to SEO his site, which is, which is cheap. But again, I'm in, I'm in for the, for the long haul relationship, you know, um, because 10%, 10%, uh, his average job is a thousand bucks. He's giving me a hundred bucks every time I send him a thousand dollar job. I mean, I can send him, I can send him 20 of those if I ran ads. Right. You know? That, so, I mean, that was going to be my next question. Like, are you, um, have you had the chance or the opportunity to, to upsell any of these uh, uh, business owners. And you just mentioned that you, he's paying you $500 for SEO on the side. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Yeah. So you're already yeah. in that stage. Uh, I, yeah, for me, I didn't start. 
upselling or, or you know, uh, doing any of that stuff until, I don't know, two, three years into the process where uh, I started over delivering for some of the, um, the rank and rank guys. And they're like, this is great. Um, yeah. Instead of 250 or 300 a week, can we do 500? And I have actually a couple of those guys that are still with me. Uh, yeah, that is awesome, man. So you've got your commission deal, which hopefully is going to turn into a flat fee deal, but you also have a recurring 500 a month from that same guy just to work on his, on his site. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so, so upselling, um, when I got in and I noticed like people would come in and, and, and mention their wins, um, and they would be for like four months, uh, or, or weekly or they were short term. And I, you know, and I, and I thought not only me thinking, but also in the course, you want to keep these clients as long-term clients, right? So I was like, well, why is everybody doing four-month contracts and six-month contracts? Well, I don't know why everybody's doing it that way because I'm not, you know, yeah, I don't, li- I, I don't get to hear their conversations or Zoom meetings. But to me, it makes sense because here's, the, here's what's going on. Holidays are about to come up again, right? Which means the seasons are going to change, which means work slows down. You know, so it makes sense to do these four month and six month contracts. And I I let these business owners know, like when we go over the calculator, hey, give me your best average cost per service. Go back 30 days and and take the amount that you made in 30 days or whatever and get and, and divide it by 30 and tell me what what that number is, because now. Now we have a benchmark to go back and look six months ago and say, well, we started at this number, but because I've been sending you these leads, that number has risen. And that is a good way to do an upsell because it's now you're doing a new contract. You're looking over numbers. You're talking about money again. And that's that makes a good time for upsell. So four to six month contracts by having to revisit that with the business owner so frequently now. You know, it gives you that opportunity to throw in that upsell. And for me, like, I really don't want to take on SEO. Clients. I just don't want to do it. I actually have another SEO client that has nothing to do with break and rent. It happened to be a friend. He was at, he's a cousin of a friend that passed away a couple of months ago. I met him at the funeral and he does um, Shugi Ban, Yakisugi, Burnt Wood sighting. And, um, he fired all his he fired all of his uh, third party SEO people and and, and PPC people. So he's he's now he when he when I met him and talked to him, uh, I now work for him. So actually, I'm doing that for for twelve hundred bucks a month. Oh, that's a, that was yeah, it's a pretty good win. But that's not rank and rent. That was just right. SEO. But that but is a I good that is a good stepping stone for sure. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's d- depending on the niche, of course. Who uh, you doing? C- uh, what is it? Cedar siding or wood siding? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Burnt, burnt, burnt wood cedar siding, exactly. Yeah, mm-hmm. so it's a hard niche. Like, you know, one I had to learn. I had to learn that product and learn the lingo and everything, you know, so that I can know what people are searching for. Right, and but I doubt it's competitive, though. Ask, that's what I thought, but man, they got it. They've got about twelve competitors that are distributors. They're suppliers. Yeah, mm-hmm. He's actually the only one that gets sources this straight from Japan. He's in Portland, so the boat just goes right across the water. He unloads into his factory or his mm-hmm. warehouse, or whatever. Yeah, but nice. um, no, it's it's tough. It's tough. But um, but one of the um, I I I don't like SEO. I because it takes it takes long. And you get these business owners that um, they they just learned about SEO and now they're you know they want to call you like every other day. Hey, why isn't my site ranking? Why isn't this ranking? Well, pages rank, not sites. But um, but my SEO that's how I started in digital marketing back like in 2010, 2011. I started learning SEO mm-hmm. and um, I ranked some sites for clients. It's it's work. And it takes away from your rank and rent productivity, but it's a good um, it, it's a good money maker for an add on, um, uh, an upsell. Um, 
one of the things that I just did for this client that I will now implement as an upsell is um, I wrote a 12 page e-guide that the business owner can put on as a QR code on the back of a business card, right? And he already has a business card. And I said, I understand that, but add this to your repertoire of, of branded material. So on the back is a QR code, which first goes to a Google review, his, his Google review site, right, page to ask for a Google review. They can say yes or no. Hopefully they say yes if it was a good experience. But then it gets their email address so that the e-guide can be sent to their email and they don't have to try to read it on their phone because 12 pages. They can you know read it in the comfort there or print it out, whatever. But so what it is, it's basically just a maintenance guide that they can do themselves in between service calls. Like for, for instance, like if you had an HVAC um, uh, business owner, you can, I mean, there's tons of stuff that a homeowner can do. Change your filters, don't buy the expensive filter, um, pour bleach down your system in the summertime. Um, wash off your condenser outside after you cut the grass. You know, there's all kinds of stuff that you can collect using chat or I, my favorite is perplexity. It, they they kind of leave out a lot of the fluff that chat includes. Mm -hmm. Adds pictures to it, and then um, put it in 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 Google Docs, and that way you can change the logo and the phone number, and now it's branded to your business owner. Yep. So, and then and then now that goes on the ad, um, free e guide with paid service, right? So everybody loves free stuff. More yeah, than they it's a good foot in the free. door. Yeah. Yeah. And um, so now People what he does. People are willing is, to give their information for free stuff. Absolutely. Yeah. So so now there's a QR code on the back of a business card. Every time they do a service call, he hands them that. They get a Google review. They get an email. So now he can touch them mm -hmm. during the holidays. Yeah, you know, email marketing. Time. Yeah. So that right there, I just gave it away. But that is a great upsell. Mm -hmm. I had a similar situation. I, I had so many people. I probably, I probably fought it and resisted it for about a year. People asking me to fix their reviews. Yeah. And then finally, I found a really easy solution. It's just a software that you hook them up to. And then you hook them up to their pay, payment system. And every time someone pays an invoice, it puts them in a campaign. They start getting the text and an email. Like, I don't touch anything. I just add their company to the dashboard. Yeah. And the AI software takes care of it. And I resisted this for the longest time. This would be a good example of cross-selling. Now, I don't seek it. But if it comes to me, I'm tired of saying no. And now I yeah. make uh, maybe an extra three grand um in uh, three grand four grand a month uh, i want to say no less probably 2500 to, to three grand in in reputation management uh which i don't touch it's just a software uh i, I pay 75 dollars a month for the software per company and i charge them uh, 300 dollars or something and then yeah. and, and i stack yeah. them and and right. that's it so yeah i did resist it i did resist uh, uh cross selling but it's such a good if you can have the resources or the team to do it, you should definitely collect that fast money because it will help you with your rank and rent. It will help you with your ads. It will help you uh, fill the, the financial blanks. We have all these blanks that get created. You got to pay GoDaddy. You got to pay the ads. You got to pay all this stuff. So getting that fast money, you can patch some of those holes with. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. Uh, social media is one of, one of them too, because I have a team now. Uh, so if someone is like, hey, the, the leads are great. Can you take social media off my plate? Yeah, I don't touch it. I only collect. So if mm -hmm. you have the possibility to just collect and maybe do 5 or 10% of the work and 95% of it is automated, absolutely. This mailbox money, it's still semi-passive. I would, I would take it. But seeking these side things is 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 the problem i've done both when i went and seek the you know just like nick the swag and the uh, you know you go start selling seo hard that's when rank and rent falls by the wayside and that's when you start to struggle because those seo yeah. clients and those side clients are gonna 
pull the plug at, at some point and you're going to find yourself back at, oh, I need more, I need more rank and rent uh, sites. Yeah. I need to fix my approach. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, I like it. Mm -hmm. Shiny coin syndrome is definitely a thing, especially when you're in front of a, a screen. Yeah. You know, like in my case, I'm I'm in front of this laptop all day long, and it's yeah. just so easy to open up an email with an intriguing um, uh, title. I'm like, what's this about? And then yeah. now you're off in Never Never Land. Oh, it's only thirty seven bucks. Hmm. That <laughs> sounds like something I might do. Yeah. You know, whatever, but. Yeah, right. it's 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 simple. It, it's easy to um, get distracted. Absolutely. I wanted to share with you uh, some of my examples of uh, like when I had an opportunity to sell other stuff. I have a, a company in Vegas. They do stucco. Um, and last time I talked to them, they were really happy. Uh, I don't spend a lot on ads, uh, probably 50 bucks a week, if that. Uh, they pay me about 350 a week. So it's good money. And now that the stucco is good, they want to do their main thing, which is commercial cleaning. So now I'm working on uh, some ads for, or oh, they built the rank and rent for, for cleaning in, in Vegas. And now I'm trying to uh, get them leads so I can stack that. So now they're doing stucco and, and cleaning. I have another gentleman in Seattle who does epoxy for me uh, in the Tacoma. And uh, now that everything's smooth and he's getting his his leads, he wants to work on his website and his branding. He's like, I need I need the logo, I need all that stuff. I have a team. I'm not going to touch it, so I will do this. And mm -hmm. his site is probably going to be, if I charge for a site, it's going to be like at least at least forty two hundred between thirty eight forty two hundred, and it goes up from there. Um, so yeah, that that is good money. If he's gonna take your team, you know, ten days, two weeks to build a site, and you're gonna you're gonna grab, you know, between thirty eight hundred and forty five hundred, definitely. I don't say to seek it and become the web designer of everyone <laughs> uh, and do e commerce and all that stuff, but uh, definitely, if, if the money's there, grab it. Um, I'm also I did a, a total three sixty with this guy. I I. I sold him leads for two or three years, long time. And then his site that I built him <laughs> started ranking out of the blue, like just getting him a ton of the, I, I, it pissed me off actually, because we did such a good job that organically he started getting really good leads. And now he's like, pull the plug from the leads. I'll pay you the same thing. I'll pay you 500 a week, but you got to take care of all my online presence. I got to take care. I got to manage my site. I got to manage my social, my reviews, everything. I don't want to touch it, but I'm good with the, with the leads. I'm getting plenty from my website. Now I just want you to manage everything and I'll pay you the exact same. So I mean, $2,000 to manage his online presence. We're not doing SEO. We're not doing anything. We're just managing his platforms online, his email marketing, his social, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, website, all that stuff. Uh, $2,000 a month, I'll take that all day, every day. Yeah. Um, and then I have uh, the same gentleman started at 300. So when I started him with either, with epoxy, he was only paying 300 and he liked it and he went up to 500. Then his website got built. Then he got rid of all the lead generation and now it's just uh, straight up management. And then I have another gentleman. The last one is a rescreening guy. He just replaces screens. Now he wants to replace the whole cage, the whole pool cage. So he wants to go big. He got a license. He's like, I don't want to, I, I still want to replace the screens, the pool screens and the patio screens, but I also want to build the whole thing, the, the, the cage. Yeah. Okay. So these are some good examples of either me suggesting uh, the next phase or the business owner seeing like getting perspective like oh this works what what else can we do and they and they that, that, that's how they approach me yeah um i i think about this a lot like i in the group i i've said many times um answering questions go vertical with uh, a, a service so like i i just bought a domain for driveways and um, and I'm only going to target. Right, it's not going to talk about sidewalks. It's not going to talk about slabs. It's not going to talk about other flat work. It's only driveways. So driveways, you know, it's almost like a two ticket 
tier, it's a lot of people already have an existing driveway they want to replace. So there's a there's a cost of coming and wrecking it out and hauling it off. Mm -hmm. And then the cost of repouring a new driveway. Right. So it, that's a big ticket item. And so um, and and with the domain being driveways, that's the only thing that that will generate the leads. But so what so as an upsell, you you hook up with a business owner doing driveways and he might just be happy with that. If you're just getting him all kinds of business and and, and driveways are for the most part, they're pretty easy. They're, it's, that's not hard work. But um and I okay, well, depending on where you live. Where I live, everything's flat. So it's easy here. Where are you um, based? Biloxi, Mississippi. Mm -hmm. Right, right here on the beach. Pretty flat, yeah. Uh, yeah. So um but to upsell Right. Say, ask them, do you, do you want to do pool decks or do you want to do um, you want to do slabs for people that want to build sheds or that they want to get have a generator installed? And then then you can start adding to it. You know, because I know concrete guys, they don't do just driveways. They do everything. But if you're only feeding him driveway leads. He's good leads and he's making money, then you can you can revisit that contract four months or six months and say, hey, do you want other things besides driveways? Mm -hmm. Even though the website is driveways, you can always have a services in your navigation. That's, and if you run leads to those as well. So um, it's nice that that homeowners don't really pay attention to the name of the domain. They just need service. You know? So, um, But anyways, I you know, tree removal. Just go, just get a domain in tree removal in your city.com and mm -hmm. only promote tree removal. That's a big ticket item for a tree service guy. Yeah. Versus pruning or, or stump grinding. So you hook a business owner on just tree removal. And then when it's time to revisit the contract again, hey, do you do, you do would you like to get some tree stumps or like to get some pruning and trimming? And then you start adding that on to start, like you said, stack, stack the services that they're already providing themselves yeah i've done that i've done something similar in albuquerque i had a gentleman uh actually he's no longer um uh, around uh but we, i started sending him stucco and he liked it and then he wanted a roofing now i i don't do roofing i do roof repair uh so i went and did that for him and he liked it and then later he's like hey hit pause on the roofing and let's do stucco and concrete so we're doing stucco and concrete for a while and then we just kept switching and be like every six months, they'd be like, oh, can I do roof repair? Now it's monsoon season. Let's do roof repair and concrete. Let's do stucco. And then he just kept going back and forth. Uh, but for some reason, uh, he had some inheritance problems and he went bankrupt and get, went out of business. But yeah, he we were super successful. Now I'm trying to, I replaced one uh, site. I need, to, I need to hook up two business owners for the other two. Um, but yeah, it just goes to 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 speak to the, the the possibilities that we have in this in this business model. You can go vertical, you can go horizontal, uh, as long as you keep uh, uh, the eye on the ball and you keep the priority on the rank and rent, and everything else that you're selling is supplementing rank and rent. It should be to not to the detriment of rank and rent, but to, to supplement rank and rent and help it and, and with the budget and everything. So any small, fast money that you're collecting should be geared towards the main thing. And the main thing is, uh, is rank and rent. Right. Um, yeah. But you can, you can upsell, you can cross sell, you know, uh, not recommended uh, because you will get distracted. But yeah, you can definitely uh, use those as the means but the end is lead generation, rent and rent. Um, yeah. Adair, anything you want to add before we wrap this up? Um, no. Uh, I, I, the, the name of the game is you got to just stick with it. it the, the formula works. Uh, you know, the, the cake comes out like it's supposed to. <laughs> um, even in my case, when I didn't feel like my painter, you know, that, that was kind of like a, that was like an oddball rank and rent, but, um, but it's, it, and there's, I do have like a one page site for him that is slowly climbing the ranks. 
Um, I, you know, I, I used to, I used to not understand Google ads or ads in general. And I love marketing. I've been studying marketing on my own since like 2000 and um, love marketing. But I think people navigate Google like I navigate Google. Like I never look at the ads. I always go down to organic because I'm an SEO guy. So I'm always looking at SEO stuff, you know, and I don't really like the the, the map pack thing. That's always a, a awful. So I always pass that too, because that's just too much. People, I, there's too many horror stories happening right now with that. And so my like, guy just wait till the dust settles on that. So I'm always down in the, in the, in the organic ranking, looking at everybody. But I started running these ads after learning the course, you know, past the smart ad, smart campaign crap, but, you know, now, and people are clicking on the ads. I'm like, well, man, not everybody does what I do. And that, I think that was the biggest lesson I learned was people don't do like me. Like when I had my restaurant, I'm a big Dave Matthews fan. I thought it'd be cool just to play Dave Matthews all day long, but it was a Mediterranean restaurant. It doesn't work. So just because you like it or you think it doesn't mean that works for everybody else. And I learned that with this, people do click on the ads and this works, this, this, uh, rent and then rank system works. Yeah. That's a great way to put it. Yeah, definitely. Just because you have certain habits doesn't mean the whole world is following the same habits. <laughs> Not everyone right. listens to Dave Matthews band. <laughs> <laughs> right <laughs> or especially a mediterranean restaurant <laughs> right right um yeah there i appreciate you man this was uh, very helpful i'm looking forward to your next deal and i'm hoping it's going to be an upsell i'm hoping you're going to post hey guys you remember that guy that i sold this lead gen to well guess what he's selling he's buying this now so yeah. definitely looking forward to that um and yeah um i appreciate all the value you brought in here uh you definitely have some good examples that you managed to get within the year, which is impressive. I, I was not able to do that. Uh, I didn't get the, the success you get in until two, three years into it. So uh, yeah, yeah, kudos to you, man. Uh, I appreciate you. Uh, and uh, I appreciate you guys. And we'll see you guys in the group. All right.